Hi, this is TH Cohen for Solar City Solutions and Rafael Cavallo from Verdeja Alemão. And we are looking at a local biodigester that we built together that uses one of the local tanks, water tanks. It is essentially a mix between the RT floating drum Indian style digester and the Pusheen or fixed dome uh, water displacement digester, and it teaches both principles. Here you have a 500 liter tank in this kitchen that is filled with water, as you can see if I remove this bucket. Move that on for a second. And we fill this first with animal manure and with water up to the very top, and then seal it. Now, sealing this is not very easy because there's no threads, and even though we tried to use foam and silicon, that will not work. So don't try to do that. You know, just be parking down the wrong path like we did. So what you want to do is, you want to be able to put bolts in underneath here that have their, um, their wider end, drill a hole here and a hole here, and then put past the bolts all the way around through, seal this, and then use wing clips to seal this over a piece of rubber. You may have to cut your rubber out of uh, an old inner tube, for example, so that it, the ring covers this whole thing, and then make it thick enough so that when you bolt it down, it squeezes these two together and forms a water and gas tight seal. That's very important for this to operate. As you can tell from this, the gas outlet is right at the very top, and the gas tube is higher than the water displacement bucket. That's necessary also so you don't have overflow. Then there is a tube here, which if you can see has an elbow going down to about the center of the tank. So this tube here goes down to the center to here, and this is the fertilizer output that then comes out of the hole that was already in the tank, and then goes into the water displacement bucket, which sits and plugs in over here. And I don't glue these so that they can be removed. And then the water displacement bucket works in the following way. When you feed ground up food with your food grinder into here, and it goes up to the top, water wanting to seek its own level is going to begin to push water up into here. You then can use that water through here as a fertilizer, a nice liquid compost fertilizer that is produced in 24 hours. The liquid fertilizer goes out until your water level here drops to there, and so you've got this filled with water. Then gas is going to be produced by the bacteria here, and it's going to rise up and begin putting pressure on the water downward, which is going to lift the gas from the center and start filling this bucket. So this bucket will fill with about uh, 10, 15, 20 liters of water when there's 10 to 20 liters of gas in here, and that's the maximum. And then you'd want to open this up and store the gas from here in a balloon or use it directly in the kitchen. This quantity of gas, 20 liters, when this is filled with water and this has got 20 liters of gas, that is equivalent to cooking for approximately, let us say, um, for three minutes. So it's not an entirely large quantity of gas having 20 liters of gas, because 100 liters of gas is equivalent to 15 minutes of cooking. But you can get this many times during the day, and you should be able to get up to 10 of these buckets filled with gas, so you'd store it in a balloon, a PVC balloon or something, and then you can cook for a half an hour, an hour, whatever you want. But this acts as a piston where the water pressure pushes the gas out, then it builds up more water pressures, more gas is produced, then they will press the gas out, and then you can release the liquid fertilizer, which is equivalent to how much you feed it that comes out there. And that makes this a very simple, anybody can build home biogas system. Would you care to explain in Portuguese for us? Mm -hmm. sí. é, a gente tem uma caixa d'água de 500 litros, né? ela está cheia de... Foi cheia de água e colocada cerca de um balde de esterco, ou de porco, pode ser esterco de cavalo também. E por aqui ela tem que ser tá cheia até o topo, por aqui é onde sairá o gás. Então, a gente tentou, é importante que, que esteja selado essa tampa, porque quando o gás vai dar pressão e a tendência é o gás sair e o líquido também sair. Então a gente tentou usar silicone e 
Fom. Fom. É, é algo que usa para se vedar ar-condicionado aqui no Brasil. Espuma de expansão. É, espuma, uma espuma, é. como se fosse um isopor expandido. É. E não deu certo. Então a gente vai tentar de outra maneira agora, usando, criando um anel de vedação. A gente vai pegar uma borracha, algo como uma câmara de ar de pneu, de bicicleta, vai fazer um anel de vedação aqui e usar parafusos. Prender os parafusos por baixo e com... fazer furos aqui e com a porca apertar eles por cima. Né? Então ele estando vedado, essas bactérias, isso cria um espaço anaeróbico dentro do biodigestor e essas bactérias do, do esterco de animal, elas produzem gás metano, que a gente pode usar, que é o mesmo gás que usa, se usa na cozinha. Então, conforme essas bactérias produzem gás, vai criando uma pressão aqui dentro e vai enchendo esse balde. A água é empurrada para dentro desse balde. Então, quanto mais esse balde estiver cheio, é maior a quantidade de gás dentro do dentro do sistema, e esse gás vai sair por essa, por essa mangueira e pode ser ligado diretamente no fogão. E como você mantém essas bactérias aqui dentro? Você põe restos de comida através desse tubo, né? e aí isso alimenta essas bactérias. Então conforme você for pondo os restos de comida aqui, você também consegue, ele também vai aumentando esse nível de água e você pode tirar fertilizante aqui de dentro. Então esse é um protótipo, né? um, um biodigestor caseiro, então você consegue no máximo cozinhar por 3 minutos com o gás que ele armazena. Mas você pode também ir enchendo um, um saco plástico grande com esse gás e consegue armazenar ele. Thanks. So there we are. We hope we'll get it up running.